breaking news. There's new evidence in a fatal hit and run. Prosecutors say the man who allegedly hit Joseph Morris in Penn Hills may not have been the one who dragged him down the street. Instead, they think a second car may have been involved. Megan Schiller is live with the new details. Megan. This new evidence surfaced during a bond hearing for the key suspect today in that fatal hit and run. Detectives are saying now that they believe he is not the only driver involved. And late this afternoon, they released a new picture. This is a still image of the second car detectives believe also hit the victim, 51-year-old Joseph Morris. We don't yet know the make and model, but detectives say it appears to be a sedan. It will have damage to the front and the undercarriage. And there's an $8,000 reward for anyone with information about this vehicle. Morris was hit while walking home from work after dark in late April. Police believe he was first hit by a light blue Saturn, and that was driven by Surin Birch. The accident incapacitated Morris. Police believe this second car then came in the opposite direction, hit Morris and dragged him a half a mile along Hershey Road. Neither car stopped and left Morris along the road. Now the life of 21-year-old Surin Birch is on hold. It was during Birch's Tuesday bond hearing that the district attorney's office revealed the new evidence about a second vehicle. Also today, we heard for the first time from Birch's defense attorney, Carrie Lewis. Lewis told KDK over the phone that his client denies dragging anything underneath his car from the get-go. He also expresses concern for the victim's family during this difficult time. The light blue Saturn Birch was driving is owned by Modesty Hopper. She's facing charges for allegedly lying to police about what happened and saying that a falling tree caused the damage. Her text messages later revealed to police that she let Birch borrow her car the night of Morris's death. And again, the make and model of that alleged second car has not yet been determined. All they have said right now is that they know it is a sedan. Again, $8,000 up on the line for anyone who can give them any information about that pictured car. You also can call and leave an anonymous tip to 1-833-ALL-TIPS. Reporting live downtown, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News. Thank you.